Want to get the full race power back in your Neochamps? Here's the right way to refresh them. Right here, I'm using Sky RC NC2200. I got a Bluetooth dongle attached, so this is very important if, if you want to get into more of the detailed settings I'm going to be going in this video. First things first, let's go ahead and put the batteries in, like so. What you want to do is set it to refresh, click enter right there. It's going to ask you for the charge rate. The way I've learned to do it is I bring it up to 1400 like that. Set that, the discharge rate, you will just set it at a thousand. So right here for safety, you can leave the charge cutoff at 1.40 volts per cell. The discharge cutoff voltage at 1. Point volts per cell, that's critical to protect your battery. And make sure that the Delta V detection is on. That's what senses when your battery is full by detecting a tiny voltage dip. And at the same time, you wanna make sure the trickle current is off. Keeping it on will send a very small amount of current to the battery after it's already full. I mean, it's like putting it on battery on life support. Uh, what it does, it keeps topping it off so it doesn't lose charge while sitting idle. So that's why you turn it off. If it's already full and you keep trickling electricity inside, it pretty much just builds up heat and damages the cells. After refreshing, make sure you let it rest for about 30 minutes before a race. What that does, it basically just helps stabilize voltage and gives you the maximum punch, like right when you take off. So let your car go off on the track, it gives you that extra punch when you do that. Refresh smart, charge right, win more. And if you guys have another way to refresh them, please let me know. I'd love to learn more from you guys. Uh, just drop it in the comments below or send me a DM. Again, I'm Tony Mac, Mini Mod Garage. Peace out.